beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another episode of Weekly Angel Guidance and if you're brand new here my name is Mel I make videos every single Sunday or Monday depending on where you are in the world. In today's video we're going to be going through three different aspects the phases of the moon, the astrological influences, and then a tarot reading, which is a general reading for all signs of the zodiac. So this week is from August the 26th until September the 1st. Do you believe we're in September? Where has this year gone? Oh my gosh. All right. So from Monday to Wednesday, we're in the last quarter of the moon. Your affirmation is, I'm so happy and grateful for everything I have achieved this month. It's been a lot of work and I know my future self will thank me for it. I breathe with ease and finish up any outstanding tasks. Then we move into da -da -da, the balsamic moon, which is my favorite time out of the whole moon cycle. Now, this is from Thursday to Saturday. Your affirmation is, I'm so happy and grateful for this wonderful opportunity to disconnect from the world and just be. I reflect with gratitude and take time to rest. Turn your phone off, go out into mother nature and just see what comes through. Okay, and then on Sunday, well, this could be your Monday, depending on where you are. Actually, no, this will be everyone Sunday. I've just checked my notes. So we have the new moon in six degrees and 46 minutes of Virgo. So check on the screen right now and you'll be able to see the time in which this occurs for you. So this is 3.38 Pacific time. This is 6.38 Eastern Standard Time, 11.38 British Standard Time, 4.08 Indian Standard Time, 8.38 Australian Eastern Standard Time, and 10.38 New Zealand Standard Time. The point that I wanna make with the phases of the moon this week, obviously, you know, this week we're winding down, the moon is going to become um, invisible as we get to the new moon. You know, you're gonna be winding down, pulling deeper into yourself, continuing on with what happened last week from last Saturday and Sunday when we had the Empress and what else do we have? The High, the Empress and I can't remember what the other one was. The High Priestess. So it's like drawing into yourself, nurturing yourself. That's what I want you to continue. So for basically for this week, I want you to go to bed early. Well, I'm not gonna tell you what to do. You know what you need to do to look after yourself as you're preparing for Sunday for the new moon. So this new moon is actually in Virgo and its ruling planet is Mercury. As you know, Mercury is the planet that rules communication, travel, electronics. It rules the rational mind. So I'm so excited to see what comes up. Anyways, let's go into astrological influences. So we have five planets in retrograde. We're getting so close for the Saturn retrograde ending. So we've got Pluto, Neptune, Saturn. Oh, I haven't fixed this one up. Good Lord. Pluto, Saturn, Neptune, Chiron, and Uranus are all in retrograde. Retrograde is a really beautiful time to see things that you have missed. Some of these are in retrograde for like four to five months. We've been dealing with a lot this year. If, the, if you're new to the fam, make sure you subscribe because you'll be able to keep up week to week as to find out what's going on. So if you're new, you'll kind of be like, what the flip are all these plans? I don't understand. Just screenshot, have a look, check it out, or follow me on Instagram and I'll, and I'll give you some more information behind the scenes. So that's basically what we need to know for phases of the moon, astrological influences. Let's get into tarot. So the tarot deck that I use for this general reading, which is for all signs of the zodiac, is the Shadowscapes Tarot. So just take from this what feels best for you. I'm gonna read a focus card and then read a card for each day of the week. And just take from what, what feels best for you. There's gonna be something that's gonna pop up. And when it does, oh my God, let me know in the comments because I love hearing from you. And if you're joining me on the live chat, thank you so much for being here today. All right, let's get on to it. So, let's see what we, the focus card for this week, August the 26th to September the 1st. What do we need to know, angels? Well, that was quite quick. The Six of Wands. And then I heard Akuna Matata. What a wonderful word. <laughs> Akuna Matata. Um, okay. Is it because I saw the Lion King a couple of weeks ago? The Six of Wands is like victory. Let me just find if I type it down. Oh, I won't even know how to spell it. 
um, Kuna Matata lyrics. Um, what a wonderful word. Ain't no price increase. It means no worries for the rest of your day. It's our problem free philosophy. Kuna Matata. Ooh. Kuna Matata. All right. <laughs> means no worries. Let's see what we need to know from Monday. That was the first song I heard and I n I've never heard Akuna Matata for the Six of Wands. I normally just be like, victory. It's like your time to shine. Victory, you must have done something really powerful this, this moon cycle as we're like waning down and we're reflecting on everything that's happened. All right, let's see what we need to know for Monday. All right, angels. And my MK Love fam. Very nice. Ooh, ooh, Akuna Matata, the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Okay, so this is a new found abundance that is coming in, which totally makes sense because if we look at the Uranus retrograde, a time of positive major change within your love life and your finances. It says a renewed internal perspective will help to raise your vibration so that you can come a vibrational match to what you desire. Get excited. Oh, okay. Akuna Matana. Everything is coming. If you're struggling with money, the universe is going to help you stay positive so they can bring you what you need. Start acting as if. I've got, a, I'll link some videos for you on the end cards so it can help you out. Akuna Matana. That's all I keep hearing in my head. Akuna Matata. Akuna Matata. Oh my God. All right. Tuesday. Whoa, Tuesday's a little crazy. First card that I saw for Tuesday. Oh, there's a lot of dark cards here. The Three of Swords. <sighs> okay, let me just go back. So Monday to Wednesday is the last quarter. Three of Swords. This is like pain. So there's something that you haven't yet release. Akuna Matata. What, what do you feel like you need to stay extra positive with as you're navigating through this time? Just quickly get my timer back up so I can keep on track. There was a whole lot of other cards. I'm just going to pull them because let's tell the full picture. So the five of wands is dealing with contrast. So it's like you're dealing with pain, the world card. You're coming to the end of all of this pain. The page of wands, she's just breathing with ease. She's drinking a beautiful chai tea latte. She's putting in the boundaries with the seven of wands. And the two of swords is that she's kind of been a little stuck. She's kind of been a little stubborn. She's kind of... I wouldn't say sabotaging this week. Yes, I would say sabotaging this week. My angels are like, yes. <laughs> um, okay, so there's, there's still more to heal. What was the affirmation for that? I'm so happy and grateful for everything I have achieved this month. It's been a lot of work. So maybe you have already achieved this as we're reflecting back. You've really, if you're going back and you're thinking about all of the things that you have been releasing. Yeah, I'm going to say it like that. You're reflecting back. You've put in the boundaries. You decided that you're not going to stay where you are. You're going to change things. You know, we had the world card. I can't believe how many times we've had the world card. Last year, we never had the world card once. This year, it's been completely different. All right, let's go into Wednesday now. So that's still in the last quarter. Let's see what we need to know for Wednesday. Whoa, okay, there's quite a few. The first card is the temperance, which is the balance. The temperance is actually a major arcana. It's a really big deal. And then we have the eight of pentacles. The eight of pentacles is like, you've done the hard work. It's like, honey, mm, 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 amazing. You've done the hard work. You think of like the life of a spider. He's caught his insects. He's wrapped them up in his little web and he's deciding, you know, I'll eat them when I'm ready. Um, when it, you know, when it suits him. How does that fit in? Akuna Matata, the temperance, you're finding your balance, you've done the hard work. I feel like this is a time to congratulate yourself. You have stepped up this month in a way that you haven't done maybe ever as you're working through all of your blockages. Oh my gosh, boom. Thursday, we actually have the Emperor card, which is the balsamic moon. I'm so happy and grateful for this wonderful opportunity to dis from, disconnect from the world and just be. The Emperor is your structure and your logics. Maybe you're finally listening to me after all of this time of me saying, take yourself out on a hot date. Take yourself, um, I don't know, my mom and dad used to call it like the blanket show, you know, it was like, we're going to the blanket show, which basically means going to bed. Maybe that structure is putting those boundaries in place for yourself. 
Maybe that is, you know, um, turning your lights off at a certain time and then lighting a candle. Putting the structure, I know this is masculine energy, but I feel like that's going to help you balance the spiritual. You know, you can't just be all spiritual as you just get caught up in everything. You need to ground yourself more. I kind of feel like that the balsamic moon is here to ground your energy back, which totally makes sense. I'm not pulling any more of them. Let's see what we need to know for Friday. Okay this one okay so friday oh we've got the page of swords this is this is an interesting one because she doesn't condemn either the darkness or the light the page of of swords to me even though this is the contrast she's kind of like looking back think about she's looking back on you know the last month the last year maybe you're reflecting back for your whole life if you've never work with the moon before and the page of swords to me is is, is that she's going through a time where she's reflecting out back but she's not condemning any of the darkness she's not condemning herself or anyone else if she has made a decision from a place of fear or anyone else has afflicted or she has allowed anyone else to afflict that pain on her she's looking back objectively on it and she's like okay i am where i am and it's okay i surrender to the process and i set myself free that's exactly where she is right now this is beautiful week wow all right um Saturday, let's see what we need to know for Saturday. Kuna Matata, all right. Oh, oh, um, there was a card that was flipped. Okay, so we have the Ace of Cups. We had this last week as well. The Ace of Cups is the beginning of a new journey, a new cycle. It's interesting because you've gotten to a level, like you've leveled up in terms of your life. You're looking, you're saying, Akuna Matata, I am where I am and it's okay. Everything that I have been through has led me to where I need to be. And I'm looking back and I'm like, thank you for all of these lessons that I have learned. She's also very much, I don't know, I'm saying she, it's like, where she's at is completely different. It's like the worries and the troubles that have been, you know, pressing deep on her chest and her life don't affect her the way that they have. The reason why is because she's going through all of this, this massive time of transformation, you know, the Pluto retrograde, the Neptune, the Saturn, the Chiron and the Uranus. Like all of these different retrogrades have brought things to life that either may have been you've swept under the rug for like 20 to 30 years or however long this has been probably 10 i kind of feel like 10 because i've noticed in my life maybe this is just in my chart actually in my husband's as well that there are 10 year cycles that have been happening um in september 2009 I moved to England, never left Australia before, never even left my state in which I lived in. Um, and it's interesting now that I'm in Ireland and we're, I don't know if we've made a decision by the time you watch this video, if we're staying in Ireland or if we're going back to Australia, we're going through this massive time. And you've, you've learned so much and you've carried all of that. So wherever you are, I don't want you to be like, oh my God, I'm going back and blah, blah, blah. It's like, whatever is happening in your life, maybe you are seeing like oh, deja vu or something like that. Whatever is coming up for you, you're not the same person, which means the situation is got, not going to be the same. You may be going into a similar situation. Maybe you're moving houses again. Maybe you've, um, I don't know, starting a new job because we had the tower card last week. This the stability is shifting because it's making way and making room for the new. And as you're going through all of this, you're not the same person, which means what you're going through in that situation is not going to be as difficult as as it has been in the way in which you experienced, if that makes sense. You're a completely different person. And I want you to to harness that and know that that you've made yourself stronger. You've, you've put the armor on and now you wear it proud and you walk around and you know what you need to do to get yourself into vibration alignment. And if you don't, and if you're at the beginning of your, your healing journey, please check out my free training on how to heal your childhood trauma because I'll show you how to do that. If you're new to the fam, you probably don't know that I have a one-on-one -on -one online coaching program where I work personally with you for eight weeks and I can help you heal that pain, break that cycle of abuse. Just depends where you're at. So let's see what we need to know for Sunday. Sunday, all your channels seem so far away. Okay, so Sunday is the new moon. Okay, so the new moon in Virgo. Let's see what we need to know. Wow. Okay, ooh, I didn't expect this card. 
We got the five of pentacles. This one is like, she's kind of doesn't realize how far she has come. She's kind of like, I always say crying over spilt milk. And I know I say that every time I pull this card and I'm not, I don't really like that terminology, but it's the only thing that feels good. She, she's got the chameleon next to her and she's not knowing that she has the opportunity to thrive in any situation. She's just focusing on the negatives. She's focusing on there's been so much that is coming up. You know, when will it end? When will it end? And it's like a Matata. You know, everything you've been through is because you've asked for it. You know, it's just looking a lot different. You've asked for this dream job, this beautiful partner, this beautiful house, this trip of a lifetime that you've been planning for God knows how long. And now things aren't really turning out the way that you want. The angels are saying, honey, I am here. You know, rescue me, take me in your arms. You know, the angels are here to rescue you. And every time things go wrong, just know that the sun will always come out. You know, I think I said that in a song maybe about a month ago, the sun will rise from Kelly Clarkson. The sun truly will rise. The angels are here to guide you. You've got these beautiful plants, these vines growing around you to protect you, to ground you. And they're saying, honey, just look up. There is all this abundance that is literally on its way to you. Because of the Uranus retrograde that we have, a time of massive positive change within your love life and your finances. This renewed internal perspective will help to raise your vibration so that you can become a vibrational match to everything that you desire. The angels are here to 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 guide you and to like you know to clap and i just saw a scene from um the mask you know when um jim carrey turns into i don't know it, it looks like a big dog and he's like whoosh, whoosh. i don't know if you've seen the mask maybe not but anyway yeah everything is going to work out this is in terms of communication maybe you got some news that you're kind of like uh, i don't know how to deal with this so what I want you to do is I want you to set an intention for this time. So on the screen right now, it says, I am so happy and grateful now that, and then in the little brackets, it says insert intention into in present tense. So I am so happy and grateful now that stability is my natural state. I am so happy and grateful now that I have secured my dream job. I'm so happy and grateful now that I am healing my trauma. You know, whatever it is, set your intention for the next month. Write it down below. I would love to hear from you. If you're on the live chat, please let me know. I'll be writing back to you. I always say I am so happy and grateful. It just sets you up. And I always set my intentions for the present tense because you have to act as if you've already got it. So you're being happy and you're grateful for all of these beautiful blessings that are coming into your life. All right, my loves, it is question time. So what card this week stood out the most for you and what exactly did it bring up? Was it the six of wands, the five of pentacles, the ace of cups, the emperor, the seven of wands, eight of pentacles, two of swords, page of wands, the temperance, the world, the five of wands, three of swords, or ace of pentacles? So before we close out today, I just wanted to have a couple of shout outs to these two beautiful MK Love fam. First one is Carthy. Thank you so much for taking the time to comment. My goodness, the fact that you have been through depression for the last two years and you have finally decided to make yourself a priority to get yourself back out of that. Holy flip love. If I could jump through the screen and give you a hug and just say how proud I am of you. I definitely would and you know that that's true also my second shout out from our beautiful mk love fam goes to the beautiful selena selena i've actually talked to her in uh, a couple of sessions actually t for two when i was doing the market research for my online coaching program She's just a beautiful soul and I had the opportunity to speak with her. So Celine, I know exactly what you're talking about. Keep visualizing that beautiful life of you moving you and your beautiful daughter to Italy. It is going to come. Just reverse engineer exactly what you want and then figure out the chapters in which you need to take action and focus on that first chapter. And I know that you're going to do that. I know Italy is exactly where you need to be. I wonder actually what line in astrocartography that is for you on your chart. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching today's episode. I truly appreciate each and every one of you, wherever you are in the world, which just blows my mind. 
I truly appreciate that you're here today. You're actually making yourself a priority. You're trying to figure out, okay, what is the energy that I can expect this week? How can I harness it to my best ability? And you're thinking about, okay, right, I'm gonna really take care of myself, you know, for most of the week. Well, you're gonna take care of yourself all of the time, but more importantly, as we go through the balsamic moon, which was when balsamic moon was Thursday to Saturday. And then on Sunday, you're really figuring out what do you want? If you don't know on Sunday, it doesn't matter. You have like three or four days. Well, actually you have as long as you need, you know, think about what do you want? The best way to figure out what you want is to go into nature and you'll just get, something will just pop into your head or some people call it like a cosmic download. It will pop into your head and you'll be like, oh, think of it in terms of, I always reverse engineer what I'm manifesting. I'm manifesting stability because that's what I haven't had I would probably say ever. I've been doing a lot of research into my astro astrology, my, well, my natal chart in astrology, and then looking at moving in terms of astrocartography and the different lines in which I'm on. And I've got friggin' Pluto in my fourth house of home and family, which actually tells me that I've had childhood trauma, that I have had so much tra change and transformation in that area, and I can't deal with moving around. I need to have a solid place to live. So I'm manifesting my own home. Maybe I have it by now. I don't know. I'm filming this on the 11th of August. So, oh, and it's 11.44 a.m. Oh, a new chapter in stability. I don't know. What does this look like for you? Thank you so much for watching, my loves. I will see you next week. Follow me on Instagram for any updates, and I will talk to you soon. I love you. I love you. I love you. Goodbye.